A token of love beyond death made of white marble. We are flying to India to see the Taj Mahal, one of the new seven world wonders. What history lies buried in the Taj Mahal? What makes it so famous and is it really as beautiful as in those kitschy photos? Between cows in dirty streets and fabulous splendor, we'll find out about all this on site here in Agra. I cannot believe I'm up already, but people are up. People are walking to the entrance, so I do the same. So the entrance procedure was quite long. I mean, first you have to buy this little token and then you go to a security uh, place and uh, then I had to give them the stand for my camera because obviously people just put it somewhere no matter where it is and destroy the stone, which is so stupid, but people seem to do it. And then I had to give in also my microphone because real microphones are also not allowed. So I have only this little camera in my hand now. Uh, thank God there's a little microphone in there, but anyway, I couldn't care less. This is here, the entrance for the Taj Mahal, and I cannot believe I'm here. I really cannot believe I'm here, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really having goosebumps here. It's just unbelievably beautiful. Oh my God. Wow, this is just beyond imagination. I mean, everybody has been seeing this since on photos since childhood, I guess, but seeing it in reality is so different. It's so gigantic and it's so beautiful. This is the first time in my life that I have goosebumps from seeing something. I had goosebumps for, I'd say, five minutes, not just for a second. It's just so mind-blowing. Mind-blowing is the wrong word because you say mind-blowing for almost everything today, but this is just beyond imagination. And now even the sun is coming out and it's so worth it coming here in the early morning. That's why I didn't book a day tour from Delhi, but I took a hotel in the, in the evening before and uh, just to be here in the early morning, not just to avoid the real big masses of people, but also to uh, just see the light and the atmosphere of the early morning when the birds are out and you see the light shining onto the Taj Mahal. It's just so, so beautiful. And you know, I mean, also the entrance gate is just so beautiful. Look there. That would be just the monument of the place anywhere else in the world. Just here that it's sitting opposite of the Taj Mahal and then that's so incredibly impressive that takes all the show away. And I better get out of the picture because this is just too beautiful. Nobody needs to be in that picture. <laughs> Well, I'm walking around here since an hour and a half, I guess, and uh, I'm still completely mind blown. It really struck me inside. And uh, I mean, there's many beautiful places in the world, of course, and also monuments, but hardly anything that's so touching. I need to touch the building, by the way. 
that's standing here since centuries. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Now it's 8 a.m. and it's so hot already. I mean, it was already really warm in the early morning, but now it's just too much. It's so hot. Thank God I bought this beautiful little fan that is not super effective, but it's not so bad. And you know, it looks so manly. Anyway. The Taj Mahal is a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with the uh, Agra Fort and it's also one of the seven new wonders of the world. And I mean, I'm sure many of you know the story behind it, but here's just a few words about the history and its importance. Um, actually, it's a mausoleum, it's a tomb uh, that Charles Jahan built for his preferred wife who died after giving birth to her 14th child. He built her this tomb, this gigantic symbol of love and I mean, the romantic part of this love is pretty well known worldwide, I guess. And I guess something is true about it because, you know, that's a love people still talk about 400 years later. Shah Jahan is, by the way, also the Mughal emperor who built the Red Fort in Delhi, along with other important pieces of architecture. And there was supposed to be also a Black Taj uh, made of black marble, but that was not built because war started between him and his son, and uh, the Shah spent his last years in prison, and as far as I know, with a view onto the Taj Mahal. And he got buried just here, next to the uh, tomb of his wife and that's as far as I've read the only non-symmetrical part of this whole um, of this whole uh, Taj Mahal area of the whole gardens and so because everything in the gardens the buildings everything is in perfect symmetry report about uh, sightseeing in Delhi, what to do on a day, on a day tour through Delhi and it's such an impressive city. I was really not expecting that. Anyway, what I saw there also, what I see here, the many, many birds here and really big birds of prey, hawks, eagles, vultures, I'm not so sure, it looks more like eagles and there are just so many of them flying around here, just unbelievable, you know. <laughs> Back home you, th you see one of them somewhere in the mountains and you tell about that for the whole year and here they're just here hundreds of them. It's just so impressive, so much nature in between cities, markets and here even at the Taj Mahal. If you like this and the well over 100 flight and travel reports on the two Traversing Flight channels then please give me a thumbs up, comment on the video and subscribe to the channel with the little bell next to it to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the exciting videos that are released here. You'll help the channel with all its free content to grow and become more visible. Keep looking around Traversing Fly, there's for sure a few more reports that are just the right ones for you. It's so great to have you here. So and now we're going inside the Taj Mahal and look I had to get some shoe covers just to protect the marble. Uh, so it's there for another couple of centuries or at least as long as earth is still there. So. So you're not allowed to take photos inside the um, Taj, which is totally okay because it's still a tomb. But uh, I can tell you how it looks inside. So actually the, the dome itself is quite um, blank. There's nothing, no, no uh, 
paintings or something like that but the sides are again with these floral patterns like flowers in like different kinds of marble but maybe also painted and then there's like stone cuts of flowers on the wall and the place where they're buried it looks like they're in a in a coffin like a stone coffin but actually they're many many meters below that i mean they're on that point but not inside this uh, stone coffin but really many meters below but actually very impressive around it's also a octagon shape kind of fence around it one piece of marble in the most beautiful floral pattern without color just the marble but just very very beautiful So, my visit to the Taj Mahal is coming to an end now and I mean, this is so impressive, but it's also scorching hot. I, I had a plan for this outfit actually. I plan to have something like this, so because if you have something really light and white, you would be see-through after five minutes. That's how hot it is. The thing is, you know, I mean, I know most people say, well, to get there, I have to have time and so on. And I just always think, better come here, better see it then just dream about it and say, well, I should do that sometime in my life. I would never do that. I would just not try to not postpone things. Because, I mean, seeing this, even if you have only two or three days uh, to see this, is so much better than waiting for those two three weeks uh, to see this, which you might never have. So, um, I came here only for a couple of days, all the way from Europe to see this. And this will be in my memory for all my life now so much more than quite a lot of occasions of two three weeks so this is a must-see place if you can you should do it so and behind me you see the other big attraction of agra that's the red fort I won't go in there today because I was just yesterday at the Red Fort or in the Red Fort, inside the Red Fort in uh, Delhi. And uh, today I just wanted to see the Taj Mahal just to have enough capability to really uh, soak it all in and really digest everything uh, mentally because everything is so impressive and so beautiful. I want to keep it like that. Anyway, but this is really worth going, that's for sure. And I'm gonna go here next time I come to Agra because I'm pretty sure this was not the only time I get here. So this was the report about the Taj Mahal, part of my little series about India, flights to and from India and about Delhi. I hope you liked the report. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, that's always free. And please leave your comments under the video about your own travel experiences and about what you thought about this report, about this destination. And. Uh, the next thing you should really do is watch this video because this you don't want to miss. See you again very soon here at Travel Thing Love.